And today we have Yap Vanderwall, who's going to be offering his seminal course, Human as Embryo, or The Embryo in Us, Human as Embryo, in the online school. So I'm happy to have you here, Yap. Yes, Kate. So, well, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it will be my first live webinar, you know. Uh, well, the, the, the first live one for the Human as Embryo course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's certainly not my first Human as Embryo course. I, I did this course already well, for dozens of times mm -hmm. everywhere over the world. And the first name was The Embryo in Us, but uh, mm -hmm. I used to call it or to name it uh, Embryo in Motion. Mm -hmm. And it has to do, yeah, with us as human beings, being beings of mind and matter. And as Andrew Taylor still says, uh, man is mind, motion, matter, and matter, our body as a process, our body as a, as a motion, as a movement, that's so to say the interface between we as spirit beings, mind beings, and we as body beings. And uh, my main mission is to tell people that the embryo in us is not something in the past, that we were an embryo, but that we still are embryo. And that, that is very specific for human beings. Mm -hmm. Being embryo means that you are, so to say, still the original and not yet ready and specialized in a certain way that we are the being with, with the possibilities and with the future and with mm -hmm. the possibility to create mind, to create spirit, to spiritualize this world. And that's what my message is about, that we do no longer consider this as a machine, a kind of anatomy, anatomy machine that produces consciousness. No, we are beings that appear. It's our mind, our spirit that brings us to appearance. And for that, we need and have a body that enables us to bring our mind, our spirit to the world. So that's why I called it um, the embryo in us. Yeah. yeah, is well, that a little bit, yeah. Yes, I, well, I love listening to you describe it. And I really, um, I've taken this course twice and I recommend everyone take it two, three, four times because of the information that's in, the, in this course. And it really, for me, illuminates the, the, the mystery and the magic of who we really are incarnate in our bodies. And yeah. I feel like the lessons that you teach over and over and over again in this course are just illustrations of that, of our, of the amazingness of, of who we really are. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. And see, it's just, just basic mundane, you know, stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, of course. And uh, that's, well, it's important to know that um, um, the embryo in me really helped me to overcome the anatomist in me. So many people think that we are just, uh, yeah, organisms, bodies, anatomy. But, yeah, they tend to forget that in us there's something else trying to bring itself to appearance. Yes. And, and that is what you, scientists say, well, you cannot see spirit. Or if it exists, we cannot prove it exists. I will show you there's a method to see in your body, in the embryo that we are, that you can see their spirit at work. Mm -hmm. And for example, the famous question, where do we come from, is usually answered by scientists with, well, the notion that we do not come from somewhere. There is no spiritual dimension where we come from. We are made, you know, by a sperm and an egg. And I will show you that's not. I will show you that conception is the first moment that you bring, so to say, something to appearance. And it takes a whole life long to bring that to appearance, what is incarnating or connecting with a sperm and an egg on that first few hours of your life. And yeah, that is, a, people are amazed, some, most of the time they are amazed that you can see it, but seeing is not uh, really seeing with those eyes. Those eyes can only see uh, matter things, but with your mind eyes, and that's why I, We'll talk about more than about the embryo. I will talk about the body. I will also talk about the method to study your body. And the method I use is phenomenology. Phenomenology mm -hmm. is 
also taking serious what your senses tell you and not only think in models or, or scientific uh, theories, but really yeah, take sure, take for true what your senses are telling you. And then it's possible mm. to see also in biology, also in anatomy, yeah, mind right. period at work. Yes. Well, in our work, we, we bring, this is the work of Anna Chidi, John Chidi, the, the, yeah. the working to feel embodied. The, the sensation yeah. is the witness. Yeah. And I feel like you really bring that and you help us understand. You help us understand who we really are. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it's lesson okay. after lesson in your course. And it's delicious and amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and therefore, it may be a challenge to do it this time by means of this medium. Because I realize that when I give my courses life, you know, I do not only speak with my mouth or with my brain and speak words, but I, I have to teach people that you can, can gesture, that you can make mm -hmm. certain gestures with your body and that it helps you to experience um, what is, so to say, um, our mind, our spirit that appears by way of actually the whole body is a gesture with which we present ourselves. And by reading the body, understanding the body, in the right way, you can see, you, can, you therefore can see that behind every human being, there's, yeah, the real spiritual dimension that we are is working through and by means of that body. Yes, for, wonderful. If, yeah, therefore, therefore, for that you need a kind of new science, that what we call phenomenology, and I will give many examples about phenomenology, yes. how it works and how you can do it. And you will lead us with exercises and you will, yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah, course, yeah. yeah. And we'll be doing drawings. Yeah, yeah. there are drawings and that all is mentioned to get behind the forms of your body. There is motion and the movements that you perform your body can be felt if you make certain exercises or certain uh, drawings that will help you to understand, for example, the gesture of polarity. Polarity is essential. Because polarity is that we are not one, but we are two. There is in us, in us a two-ness or a two-foldness, but that is not mind and matter. It is, um, it is uh, the polarity of mind and matter, and that is things that is a, a um, that is only something that you can experience if you make the gestures yourself. That's what yeah. I try to do. Yes, you teach us what happens when you really embrace the polarity of mind and matter and a third thing arises, which is so much wonderful. It's really, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so we'll see everyone here online. It starts October the 7th. Yeah. And we'll have two I'm very sessions. much looking forward to it. Yeah. It's very challenging for me and I hope that, okay, the... The political circumstances will be okay, and there is not so much disturbance in the world, so that I can present my, for the first time, my, my message, my word, my, my message about the MBO, through the camera and through the the webcam and whatever. Yeah. Yes, well, I I think it's going to be great, and then so many people can now experience being with you, Yap Vanderwall. You are wonderfully unique, wonderfully. Um, expressive a wonderful teacher and um one of the something not to miss in this lifetime if anyone out there is listening thank you really thank you not to miss <laughs> what being, a compliment yeah. no thank it's you. true the, the that's and it's wonderful to take it over and over again so i'm glad it will be recorded for people to experience and then uh we will be here and i'm wondering yeah, but if we could end with that poem that I love so much from you that you say from Rumi, when oh, grapes turn. The grapes turn to wine. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm an old man. I'm not always capable of um, uh, recalling all, when, all the poems that I used, but I could try. And um, maybe I can show the, the page in my web, in my presentation, my PowerPoint, yeah. because it should also be important for the people to know that um, uh, they will get a lot of uh, 
information available, you know, my articles, uh, the mm -hmm. poems, the stories, but also the PowerPoint, the animations I'm going to show. Yes. It's all available for everyone uh, that uh, part uh, who participates in my course and yes. a rich source of information. And one of the slides I usually show is this one, and it's a poem of Rumi. Rumi is the one, is the philosopher of the 13th century that for the first time uh, made me aware of um, that it is we who make our bodies and not that the body is producing us or something like that. So I will share this time, I will show you the pay, the, yeah, I will share the screen as it's called. And I go to this beautiful uh, page, can you see it? It's coming. There it is. And the poem is about spirit and body, and it starts with starts with some very mystical um, expressions that I will explain during the course. And it says, "When grapes turn to wine, they long for our ability to change. And when the stars wheel around the North Pole, they are longing for us." for our growing consciousness. Wine got drunk with us, not the other way around. The body developed out of us, not we from it. We are bees and our body is a honeycomb. We made the body. Cell by cell, we made it. And that's a truth that I will uh, show you in the course also, it's fundamental. Yes. And so thank you, Yap, and we'll see you back here yeah. in October. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Kate. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm.